Hello everybody, welcome back to Jersh Reacts. In today's video, we're gonna to react to Break My Heart by Dua Lipa, both the song and the video. Uh, this was highly requested and recommended for me to react to on the channel. Um, and I thank you all for, I think you're doing a really good job in the comments of leading me towards music that better represents what she's capable of and that I'm just plain more likely to enjoy better. The first, uh, or to enjoy more. The first song, that I reacted to for her it didn't really land with me. I, I didn't really dig it as much as other pop artists that I've been listening to. But the last couple of tracks that I've reacted to for her, I have enjoyed. Um, and I really liked that animated physical video a lot. So I'm looking forward to this one. Um, if you like what you see on this channel, make sure to like the video and subscribe. If you want to support me further to make sure the channel keeps going long term, I have links in this video description for my Patreon and my Twitch Prime. One such person who is interested in seeing the channel uh, continue is Patreon producer Selbinian. I wanted to give you a quick shout out. Thank you for your support. Um, I know a lot of, maybe there's a lot of YouTubers out there that do this as a hobby who might also have a Patreon. I want this to be my full-time job. This is my source of income, is creating online entertainment, whether it's the independent films that I make, the original movies, the music reactions for the pop, the metal, the gaming, this is what I'm focusing on full time to do long term. And the only way that I can do that and keep doing it is with support from people like Selbinian. So I really appreciate it. So I've got the video ready to go and the lyrics ready to go. Uh, so let's get into this video. I've always been the one to say the first goodbye. Had to love and lose a hundred million times. Had to get it wrong to know just what I like. Now I'm falling. Hey, minor. You say my name like I have I never heard before. The bass again. But this time I know for sure. I hope I'm not the only one. That I like the colors again, too. Definitely like a disco vibe again. That the bass, the drums, the high pitch keyboard melody accent. It's very old school sound. Uh, the the was it the chorus, the bridge. I'll look at the lyrics, but when all the music really dropped out and it was just kind of her harmonies stacked on top of each other, that was really interesting. It sounded good, and it's uh, it's not what you expect. It's fun to be surprised in music. That's hard to do with so much uh, repetition in music. Uh, so lyrics have always been the one to say the first goodbye, had to love and lose a hundred million times, had to get it wrong to know just what I like. Now I'm fallen, you say my name like I have never heard before. I'm indecisive, but this time I know for sure. Hope I'm not the only one that feels it all. Are you falling? Center of attention, you know you can get whatever you want from me, whenever you want it. It's you and my reflection. I'm afraid of all the things it could do to me if I would have known it. So this is... Um, and again, I've said it before, a lot of pop songs are about relationships because it's all very relatable at different stages of life, particularly when you're a young audience with disposable income. <laughs> um, but uh, it seems like she's singing about how she's kind of been a player. She's been, she's been the one saying goodbye first. She's been the heartbreaker. She's been the one that hasn't really been getting too deep and getting involved, feeling real emotions. But now she's finding herself falling for somebody. And now it's almost like she's afraid that the thing that she's been doing to other people is going to happen to her. So that's really interesting. Uh, 
that's an interesting perspective to sing from. Now the um, the video itself, it looked like we're doing land, sea, and air. It's like we started in a boat, now we're in a plane. Maybe we'll be in a car by the end. I don't know, but uh, it's like yeah, different versions of travel. Maybe she, it's all these different ways, all the different uh, lengths she's willing to go to travel to go see this person. Maybe at the end she will have been on boat, have been on a you know plane, train, automobile, Steve Martin, whatever. She would have written Steve Martin and John Candy to get to the guy. There's like three people to get the reference. All right, let's keep going. I really love the 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 just the colors like this video just pops like the the blue highlights and the the deep orange and her wardrobe and all the different scene transitions are really cool it's really clever kind of it made me it reminded me of it chapter two how like you start in one item in one room and that zooms out and transitions to another like I think in it it was like through a puzzle like you looked up at the sky and it became a puzzle piece and then they were in the living room somewhere else. I really appreciate those types of transitions because it's not just like, it's not just a crossfade or a dissolve or a form fade. It's something a, a, a lot more unique and it takes a lot more hard work to pull off. So uh, again, I know we, we like our pop stars and we like our bands and we like our artists and we want to give them all the credit in the world, but there's a lot of people behind the success of one person that you find out about and uh yeah like the set designers the wardrobe the camera work it's really cool seeing her transition from still to in motion they had to put her on some sort of floor moving thing but edit it or erase it out and post somehow i don't know it's really it's, it's cool the video is, is is really entertaining on top of a really catchy song and uh yeah so far so good I guess it started in a car. I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a different car. That's very Billie Eilish. I don't know who came first because I don't know uh, their histories. But this, the bad girl attitude, blowing a bubble like you don't give a shit, seemed very Billie Eilish to me. Um. So she started in a car. It started in the car, then it went to the boat, then it went to the plane. You want to know what was in my head, why I missed that the first time? is because as soon as I saw her standing on a car, I thought of Taylor Swift dancing in the rain and Delicate. 
and I got distracted with a different visual while I was listening to the music. That's the truth. Um, but so yeah, so car, boat, plane. I feel like that's like a clever, fun way to see all this distance past all these other couples that are on dates and, and having inner per success, interpersonal lives. Uh, and she's on her way to this person that's probably going to break her heart. You know, like she can't get there fast enough. Even the plane stretched out and became like a horror movie, you know, self elongating hallway that never ends. Like you're in a nightmare because she just wants so badly to get to this person that she's falling for, you know, cars, boats, planes, she'll do whatever she can to get there. But, uh, everything is kind of slowing her down to get there. Um, that's so funny. Really like the clever and uh, unique transitions here. Yeah, oh my gosh, the plane. I'm just trying to get to my mans. This plane won't end. Yeah. So yeah, song-wise, again, real disco, bass, bass-driven, catchy melody. And then we're just going to la-la land all of a sudden we're in song. I like it. <laughs> um, yeah, the costumes... The color that's so, you know, I mean, music videos, movies, you know, it's a visual medium. It matters. You need to have talent, but the visuals matter too. And uh, especially if you're going to make a music video. So yeah, it's really cool. That's so, that's so beautiful. She's really leaning on too. I saw it at the beginning. It seemed like a, uh, like an 80s font. So whoever is in charge of her, uh, just persona, public appearance, uh, marketing campaign, whatever it is, to get her the most mass appeal and to be as successful as possible. They're, I think they're getting to young people because she's a hot new artist, you know, young, beautiful, can sing, dance of this generation. She's transcending that to get to the older generation because of the 70s disco vibe and the 80s font. You know what I mean? They're trying to get as many people interested in her as they can. So, I mean, obviously so far so good because she's a huge pop star that I had never heard of. So definitely like the song, love the video. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any other recommendations for me to react to, whether it's more from her or any other artist you want to see me react to on the channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.